So you'll recall that I had this really expensive isotopic potassium chloride, and that cost uh, $70 million per kilogram. And I only had a few hundred milligrams of it, so that was about $25,000, that sort of thing. Well, in order to complete that experiment, I also needed some very pure regular potassium chloride, so we just bought some. And it came in this sealed glass vial, and it was very pure. And you had these little crystal balls that had this really weird behavior. That was just so cool, I thought I'd share it with you. Okay, so that's some pretty pure potassium chloride. But what I want to show you is this just weird behavior. The beads here. Yeah. Kind of cool. That's just amazing. This is a potassium chloride. This is like rock salt. Fairly pure. So what would that look like on the high-speed camera? So, this was of course a nice chance to bring out the new macro lens for the high speed camera. So what you're looking at here is these little beads of potassium chloride. And they're stuck to the glass, presumably electrostatically, which means that they've got an opposite charge to the, to the beads. So the beads have one charge on them, the glass has another, and they stick together in a similar fashion to if you rub a balloon on your head, then it'll actually stick to things. Along those lines, not quite sure what's going on here, but if that's correct, that means that the beads and the glass have opposite charges, which means all the beads have the same charge, which would sort of explain why all the beads here, uh, they look like they're kind of repelling each other. Not entirely sure I know what's going on here, but it's a good first guess. And something else that's really cool about this, is if you look really close up, you can see those beads, uh, they're crystalline on the inside. So I don't know exactly how they made this. My guess would be is they took molten potassium chloride that'll melt at something like uh, 700 degrees, 800 degrees, something like that, pretty much red hot, and then you spray it into probably an argon atmosphere, and as they spray into that, they'll cool down very quickly and crystallize into these little spheres that are probably uh, a few hundred microns across, probably something like half a millimeter or so. But because they flash crystallize like this, you can see that the little cores have multiple crystalline elements to them. So it's sort of got this polycrystalline core, but it does look kind of pretty. <laughs> 